I never chose to play the cello. It was my mom because, uh, um, so I was playing the piano when I was three because my mom wanted me to. And I got into this Catholic school that everybody had played an instrument. And she just came to me one day, okay, you're gonna play the cello. And I said, okay. I really did not like it. And I had a very horrible teacher. Because of him, I basically wanted to give up playing the cello completely, classical music at least. And I um, started to listen to music on my own. And mostly the pop music actually, Korean pop music, American Top 40, and later on it went into smooth jazz, which I really thought it was jazz. After high school, I said to my mom, I don't want to play classical music anymore, but there is a school in Boston, they teach jazz. So I got excited and said, I'm going there. And then she said, okay. Electronics music is something that I was never really aware of. I think it was more, I just didn't know about it. But after I moved to New York, I started to play with lots of electronics musicians. And I started to really love the sound of it because, because it's something that I cannot make. In, it's a digital sound. I mean, it's analog, but you know what I mean? It's not an instrumental sound. And I really found myself really drawn to the sound. and. And I started to play with more people and to compose a piece with it. I started maybe about 10 years ago, but little by little. And it was mostly using just the recorded sounds. And the piece I'm doing here, this is the first time I actually took a sound from synthesizer at the studio here. And that's the, I, something about those sounds just makes me go like, oh, something, it just gets to my really deep inside and I just love it. I was just playing with Mark Fell in New York and we've been playing together for a while and his approach is the same thing. He just has this very simple setup in a way but he really explores as deep as possible within that instrument or within his Max MSP or laptop, whatever you call it. And that's the kind of approach that I really like. The thing is actually I think I'm, I don't really mix it but more like I'm just trying to um, emulate the sound of electronics on the cello. So there are lots of things. And then, of course, you can do lots of things just by EQ and then some effects in the studio. But even before, when I was playing solo, there was a time that I would try to kind of imitate certain sounds just by playing the cello. So I think this one let me go deeper into it. And then because I could hear better because the studio was so, so amazing. So I got to really find a way to like maybe tune it a little better. So it's like cello trying to be like electronics with, with a little bit of help from actually the synthesizer. Lots of times people describe what I do, especially solo, as physical. It is physical because <laughs> there are lots of things I'm doing on the cello that's not really um, considered to be conventional or normal so I have to kind of change the way I play the instrument in order to get certain things but I think what maybe transpires transpires the more is actually the intensity the intention trying to go deeper within the sound because that's what I'm most interested in when I'm playing I just want to like really go deeper um, really want to understand I really want to, basically, I would really want to understand the sound that's getting created and then find a way to explore it more, but mostly in a live setup. So there is the intensity. I think that's more, it, takes, it has more place, presence than actual physicality. Mm -hmm. 